All right. Hello again, everybody. This is Jerry Alt. Well, as soon as I posted my first video talking about an easy way to take out the background on a otherwise white background subject, um, Sherry Hagerman replied to my post and said, yeah, but what about if they've got frizzy hair? So rather than wait and do this next time, I'm going to go ahead and post this up right now. So here I've opened an image from a recent shoot with a model, Marisa. Uh, lovely model, one of the best I've worked with, um, certainly in recent times. And if it weren't for the lockdown, I might even be shooting her again this weekend. So here's an image that I took where she was just up against the wall in my studio. Now the wall was um, number two gray or whatever. It's not a pure white wall. You can see with her t-shirt that that's actually white. But what I've got here is a very classic problem where that hair, which we got wet, and then she threw her head back, is flying everywhere. There's no way that you could practically come in, select all of that hair with any precision, and be able to get the color you want. So I'm going to do a couple of quick things. This will be a, um advanced uh, sneak peek of some of the techniques I'm going to talk about in one of my videos on uh, editing, retouching headshots. But here I'm going to take, the first thing I'm going to do is grab this patch tool because my wall has stuff on it. I'm going to click delete with the content aware selected. Okay, so you have a choice of a pattern, black, white, whatever, um, the foreground color. In this case, I want it to look like my background. So I'm selecting Content Aware. I'm just going to click OK. And the program is going to look at the surrounding areas of pixels and it's going to make a selection. Usually it works pretty well. I even use this for face retouching where I've got smaller things. So here I'm going to grab the outlet. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit delete and OK. And it's going to do the same thing. So in a moment I've clicked a couple of times I've cleaned up the background. Now I'm not going to go through the whole steps of selecting all of her but I want to show you really quickly here in just a couple of minutes how you can do the same thing I did for making an all-white background. Let's assume that I've already made this background white. Okay but I've still got this hair. So here's what you do is you'd, you'd follow my first video, you would select the person as best you could, you would convert the background, and then you'd flatten those layers to come back to this point. All I do is take the same selection tool, actually I'm not going to use the patch tool, I'm going to use the lasso, and I'm going to draw around and include all of that hair. What's that going to do? It's going to make a selection of just the hair. Now, I'm going to ignore this little bit under her shoulder just for purposes of keeping this um, clean for you, but the same thing would apply there. You would just select down through the face and try to skip the white that's already in your subject you want to keep. But I'm going to click on New Levels Adjustment Layer. I'm going to take the white eyedropper and I'm going to click on any spot in and around the hair here that I wanted to make white. And as you can see very quickly, all of that hair is preserved. I've got all of the little tendrils and edges that otherwise would be very difficult. I don't have too much um, jagginess to it because all I've done is take those gray pixels and convert them to white. Now what if you shot somebody like me who's got gray hair? Well, that's another problem and that's another video. But here you go. Quick and easy, we got this done. Now you can see in here that some of her hand um, was selected and I don't really want that. Well, that's easy because this makes a mask, okay? When you're over here in the um, levels adjustment, you can see that it made an inverted mask. So all I have to do to fix that is to grab my paintbrush paint with black because I'm trying to paint the mask back in. Make sure that I'm at 100% on my flow. I can adjust my brush size up and there's a variety of ways to do this. 
and I'm just going to paint back in that little bit of her hand. And now I'm done. Quick, easy, effective. See you later.